I am ready! Hey hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode. This is episode Hekanalima Kumamalua. My god, that is apparently 52 in Hawaiian. Why do I not believe that? I do not believe that at all that that means 52. Any Hawaiian people in my in my comments down below, let me know that I just got trolled. Thank you very much. Episode 53 in the comments in your language, please go ahead and leave them down below. With that being said though, boys, the Bournemouth plague has hit us again. Bournemouth has beaten us one more time every single year it's Bournemouth I don't know what it is about this team but they are beating us every time we play against them or at least they're getting a draw or whatever they're just they're just very very tough to beat for me I don't know what it is about that team so we have lost in the last episode against them which means Chelsea has gotten a little bit closer in terms of the title race now instead of 11 points it is eight points of a gap between us and Chelsea and that is actually the only team that is fighting for that trophy now as you guys might remember we have a player of the month nominee actually two of them in the club right now Zaha and also Joao Felix now let me tell you one thing if we do get it done let's show the fan objectives on the screen right now um we will finish the benficas academy if joao felix wins the player of the month which he should i really hope he gets it otherwise i'm gonna be quite disappointed and quite angry hopefully he can get it i hope we can go through this episode with getting one of the objectives done finally but uh, other than that, nothing has changed in the objectives, as you can clearly see on your screen. We have to do better, boys. We have to do a lot better in our objectives, and that needs to change starting with this Swansea game. Now, this month, uh, we have to sim two games. Now, the question is, which of these games are we going to be simming? While I'm thinking about this, I'll give you a couple of seconds of silence, okay? Biscuit, don't cut away. Give them a couple of seconds of silence to go ahead and use these seconds for something useful. Maybe... You can just go ahead and hit that like button. That sounds pretty useful to me. Go ahead and do so. Silence coming now. All right, so I think we have to go ahead and um, sim the game against Swansea boys and then play against Leicester and then play against um, Watford in the FA Cup. Now we do have to sim two games this month it looks like we don't have any easy ones i'm definitely not simming in the champions league that's not happening i might sim the game against fulham because we do play against chelsea at home but that is an incredibly important game so we have to get a good result right there and then we have the carabao cup final i'm kind of forced to probably sim swansea today and Fulham away, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad for us. I can already feel a draw or a weird loss coming in. But let's see what we can do against Swansea first. Now, obviously, we have the first team who are ready to play. And I think I prefer them to play against Swansea because I feel like they could be scoring more goals against them rather than Leicester City. But let's take a look at the league table and see who is actually higher up. Oh, Swansea is actually higher up. So let's play against the strongest team with uh, the first team, I guess. And against uh, Leicester, we will have to play with Moise Keane. Now, talking about Moise Keane, we have brought him in in the last episode. Thank you guys for the nice comments about that. Um, but here is a couple, of, a couple of comments that we need to go through from the community. Here is whatever his name is. I can't read that. He says, Johnny, when you're playing Gbamin as a centre-back, you miss out on an amazing CDM. He's a different type and is the best CDM I've used in career mode this year, and his long shots are out of this world. Give him a chance. The thing is, man, I know he would be an incredible CDM, but I love Sander Berge. He is the captain of this team, and there's no way Sander Berge goes onto the bench just because of Gbamin wanting to be tested out in the CDM position. I'm 100% sure Gbamin is an absolute monster in any position. But right now, centre-back is where it's where he's at and he is the best defender in our team. So taking him out of the defence would make our defence so much weaker. I don't want that to happen. So let's keep it the way it is right now. I appreciate that comment though. I know Gbamin is a monster in any position. The next, position, uh, the next comment that we have is from Tom easy name there you go he says why gave away alvarez he's from our own youth academy now you guys still don't seem to understand guys you know that i can buy people back right 
And also, you don't act like you care about this Alvarez kid because he has never played. So why is everyone all of a sudden like, oh, why did you sell him? Blah, 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 blah. Dude, he never really played. You don't care about him. So don't act like you do. This guy, if, if he would have rotted on the bench, no one would have commented about him. But all of a sudden, now that I sell him, everyone's like, oh, why did you sell Alvarez? Come on, dudes. Let's be honest with each other. He is not playing on our team. He's not good enough. And he won't be playing in that centre-back position or CDM position because we have Santa Berge, we have Gbamin, we have Manolas. Who is, he who is he supposed to get past? I would have to do at least three more seasons for this guy to become a starting 11 player. So if I want to, if I realise that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to use him now in order to sign a player because I didn't really have that much money. So let's go ahead and sign a player, including Alvarez in the deal. And then three years down the line, when he's good enough, I can just buy him back. It's not that hard. It's not that bad. It's no reason to freak out. Calm down, everyone. Alvarez is still an option for us. He is going to be on the short list now. And when he grows, he comes back into the team. It's that easy. Don't get too angry about it. Calmate. Next comment though, coming in from Fanta Orange Official, he says, in real life, do you think Wolves could finish top six next season? I think so. If they can sign some more players as they already have, they could be very dangerous, man. Wolves is looking like a very strong team. And the one thing that I can see about them is they know how their style of play looks. Like you can clearly tell they have something set in their mind and they are working it out throughout the game. By the way, Nakajima has grown to an 84. Let's go, boys. Nakajima has gotten better. But yes, to that question, I do believe so. Wolves could make it in there next season and push out someone like Everton, um, who obviously, I don't th even think they're in there this season. But Everton was kind of considered to be a top eight type of club who also has potential to get into the top six. But that's not happening. Wolves, I think, could get it done next season. I don't even know where they are this season. They are quite high up there, so they could even get it done this year. Who knows? Okay, so here we go. Swansea against Crystal Palace. Luka Jovic, Wilfried Zaha, Joao Felix. I need good performances. Also, if possible, we have to push for yet another Benfica player for the player of the month because Zaha could easily take away the title from Joao Felix in this month as he has done for Jovic in the past. What the hell was that first touch, Joao? Are you okay? Here comes our opponents. It is going to be Van Bissaka's, right? It has to be. Yes, good job, Van Bissaka. Great defending there. It was offside anyway, but I would like to, if possible, I would have to... Um, I would like to go for a clean sheet. So please, can you help me, guys? Pray for me in the comments down below. You guys know how much I suck with clean sheets, but this time I'm going to say it early in the match. And I'm going to go for it because we need that objective as well. We need to have the best defense in the league. And right now, as things stand, we're definitely not it. Oh, Joao! Yes! Let's go! What a strike into the bottom left corner. Green times, number 79. And no, I am not changing his number. That is his number in real life. It apparently means something to him. So we're going to keep it that way. Number 79, Joao Felix into the bottom left corner once again. He gets it done. One thing that I'm hoping for an ultimate team, kind of um, a little bit uh, jumping over from uh, the topic of career mode. Um, I'm really hoping that we get a Future Stars 2 promo. That would be great because I think Joao Felix would get one this time around. And I would love to use him an ultimate team as well. The guy is a beast in our career mode and he has gotten a lot better lately. I have to say, Joao Felix has been performing really well and he has been the main man in this past month. Oh no, Woo! Strakosha, big save. That was a massive shot coming in with a lot of power. Strakosha could only just react. Joao, what a ball. What a ball that is for Zaha. Zaha, Jovic, yes! Let's go! Another Benfica player. Zaha gets himself the assist, but Jovic scores. That will make it 29 on double trouble. 11 more goals to go in order to get the double trouble done, boys. That is something we are looking forward to do. But Jovic, number nine, in the perfect position this time around. He stopped running forward. The reason for that being 
because I pressed R1. I pressed R1 and told him to come close. That's why he stopped his run and actually got the ball into the back of the net. Amazing. 2-0 up against Swansea in 23 minutes. This could easily be a goal, or a, a match where I can go for the triple man. We're going to go for it, boys. We're going to try our best to score three goals with either Joao or Jovic. <laughs> Just scored a goal, not even looking at the screen. <laughs> the perfectly timed sneeze. You have to be kidding me. I actually didn't look onto what was happening. Jovic gets himself an assist. Zaha scores. The front three, all three of them score. And I just scored a Firmino goal, so to say. And no look into the top left corner with Wilfried Zaha. I will take that. <laughs> that has to be very disrespectful to Swansea the fact that I scored without even looking onto the screen 30 minutes boys three goals can you believe it and it could be one more Joao Jovic go on yes it's another one it's 4-0 after only 33 minutes oh boy we are taking Swansea apart this could be the highest scoring game we have had this season I'm going for it boys I'm going all in look at that pass over to Joao, Joao with the assist, Jovic with the finish, both of them from Benfica, both very useful for the academy objective, very happy that I actually played this game, I was thinking about simulating it, then decided against it, but now I just realized I was supposed to sim this, oh no, I might have ruined this month, and I might have also ruined one of the trophies that we are going after, I have to decide, who do I sim it against? I'm going to sim it against Fulham. I think I might have to sim two games away against Leicester and Fulham, boys. It looks like we will have to sim games. Oh, no. This is terrible. Joao, go on. Jovic. Ah, he stopped his run. All right, let's make the best out of this. I shouldn't have played this game. I was thinking about if I should sim it with the first team or the second team. But then I kind of skipped the thought and just went into the game. Not smart from me, but at least you're getting a great game right here with a lot of goals. But still, I would have preferred to sim this one in reality. I mean, still, one thing that I would love to still have is a clean sheet, and it looks like we are getting it so far. We are doing quite well. I had the ball, ref. You didn't need to blow the whistle right there. Stop playing amazing passes. No, no, you're not going to score. Yes, Darakosha. Big save. Now, we're going to make some changes. Um, we're going to bring on a couple of players. We're going to go for Getson Fernandez instead of Joao. Okay, he's going to play as a cam, and Moise Keane is going to jump in now for Zaha. And then Trossard might as well come in for Nakajima, who's on a yellow. No, 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 no. Tsigankov, yes. Big steal. Moise Keane now making his debut for the team. Can't wait to see how good he will be. He has number 10 on his back. Okay, he has already claimed number 10. That's going to be an interesting one for me to see. And here goes Moise Keane. What a ball from Jovic. Oh, man, that could have been it. Gets on on his left foot. Oh, would have been the perfect debut for the young man. Passes it. Tsigankov. A deflection off the defender. Could have been 5-0. I can't believe I scored four goals in 33 minutes. And then after that, I haven't been able to score another one. That is quite disappointing considering how good we started. Referee should be blowing the whistle anytime soon. And with that, it is a clean sheet. I said it in the first minutes of this game. And we actually got it, boys. So I'm very proud that I didn't bottle it for once. I'm very happy. And Jovic definitely is the man of the match in this one, isn't he? I think he should be. I mean, Joao Felix has a good shot as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Zaha has a 10-point. Oh, that's not good. Zaha has one goal and two assists. Jovic has two goals, one assist. How's that? Wait, how's that not better? Zaha, you are about to ruin this month, aren't you? I know it already, man. He's going to ruin it. He's going to completely ruin it for Felix and Jovic. Great job, Zaha. Outside of the transfer window, we get another offer for Dominic Cavett lewin We will accept it. Napoli, you can have him for four. Actually, no, not 14.5. That's a bit too low. We have to go ahead and ask for at least 18 as well in this case. So let's do that real quick. I I'm still disappointed that he didn't leave us. Like, that, that still bugs me, kind of. So we're going to say 19 million this time. It should work out. Oh, they only say 14.5. That is their final offer. Well, that's a bit low, my man. 17.5. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. That works. 17.5 million for Cavett Lewin. He's going to leave our team. Yes! Joao Felix is the player of the month, boys. It has been decided and it is completed. Joao Felix has beaten Zaha in the race for player of the month. And with that, the Benfica's Academy objective is finished. Three out of three. It has been achieved. Yes! Let's go. Now, we need to start focusing on other things, okay? We need to start focusing on other objectives. Mili Mayhem, most importantly, we have to focus on Mili Vojevic, boys. He has to do well for us and he gets a chance to do so right now. Is he the free kick taker and everything in this team? He has to be, right? Penalties, it's him. Short free kick, Mili Vojevic. Right short free kick, Mili Vojevic. Perfect, okay. He's going to take all of them free kicks as well. We got a Simit though now against Leicester with the reserves team. That's going to be an interesting one for us. Milan also going for Cavett Lewin right there. Leicester, if we if we lose this, this is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Please get a good result, boys. Let's see what kind of result we can get right here. I kind of feel a draw coming. That's my personal feeling. But it would be great if Milivojevic scores. Moise Keane scores in the 15th minute. Yes, buddy. Good job. Sanabria scores for Leicester, a former striker of us in AS Roma. Come on. 1-1. One, one. Milivojevic has been subbed off. Oh, great. Great. I love it. That is not good. Gbamin is going to be tired for the next game. And it is, as I expected, it is a draw. So Chelsea have a chance to come closer right now. How did I forget that I wanted to sim the game against Swansea and play against Leicester? That's just... Not not very smart, is it? Now, this, these are the current uh, training sessions that we are doing, boys. I, I should probably stop training Trossard because there's no reason to do so. Also, I should stop training Getson Fernandez. Let's focus on other players right now. Let's focus on, in terms of midfielders, uh, no one really that interests me. Oh, Getson still has that arrow. Okay, that's why I was training him. Um, from the center backs, we don't really need anything. Full backs, yeah, we can give Dodo a little bit more training sessions. And then in goalkeeping position, we can boost up Conor Morgan a little bit more as well. That's going to help us out. Is he 84 rated already? Oh, wow. He's already 84, boys. Conor Morgan is about to take over Strakosha in terms of rating, isn't it? Or is Strakosha 86? Let me check real quick. No. Wait, where's Strakosha? Strakosha is 84. Oh, wow. There you go. That's the Youth Academy player that has been playing the most. If I would have sold him and you guys would have had an uproar, okay, I understand, but... In this case, Conor Morgan is slowly getting better than Stelakosha, so we might have to use him. It might happen, boys. It might happen. Now, we have to look into the scheduling of this month. We have to play with the first team against Sevilla, which means against Watford right now, we're going to be using Moise Keen and the squad in order to try our best and beat them. And it is going to be a good opportunity for Milivojevic to get something done. Hopefully, we do get a free kick or a penalty where we can take a shot with him or at least get an assist with the man. That'd be great. But now against Watford in round five of the FA Cup, we're going to step up against Watford. All right, then let's get into this, boys. I'm going to try my absolute hardest to get something done with Milivojevic because we need him to get something done. We are halfway through the season. He only has four goal contributions. I think he has played way more than um, 10 games already. So the objective that we had last year, we have gotten it done. The forfeit, I should say. We play back into Pereira. Milivojevic, get in there, son. Shoot. Oh, good strike. Not bad at all, Milivojevic. Good shot. Oh, you think you can do stuff like that against me? All right, then, dude. Here goes Trossard. Plays it. Here goes Andreas Pere. What? I'm actually very impressed that he saved that one, lads. We're going to cross it in. Moise Keane on the bicycle kick. He does get kind of fouled, doesn't he? We get it into Sarachi. Sarachi with lots of pace. We know him. And then they pass into the middle. Andreas, come on. Pereira, man. You have to put that into the back of net. Two big chances for him already, and he has bottled both of them. It's going to be a good cross. It is another good cross. It is Capoue. Etienne Capoue. He fails against Conor Morgan, who obviously will try and prove himself as a future number one for our team. Pass it inside. Beautifully played. Andreas Pereira. Moise Keane. Yes! Keane! There he goes. That's his second goal for the team in the last two matches the new number 10 at 
Crystal Palace. He is getting it into the back of the net. Great finish. Andreas Pereira couldn't do it twice. Moise Keane can do it the first time. Great passing play. Trossard gets himself the assist. And it is a class finish with the outside of the boot right there. He puts it into the top left corner. Beautiful strike. 1-0. So happy for him. Keane with his third goal in the FA Cup so far. He has scored a, a bunch for Spurs this season then. Now what I'm going to do because I'm now in the lead is we're going to put Andreas Pereira at centre mid, Fernandez at CDM and Milivojevic at Cam. Yep, that's happening right now. We're going to look for the middle. We're going to play to Mili. Go on. Great passing play. Andreas Pereira. Andreas, 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 come on, come on, man, you have to do better. This is a big yikes, this is a big yikes, it's offside, yes! Pereira gets it into Dodo, Dodo now pushing forward, Dodo cuts inside, beautifully done. We get it over to Milivojevic, not the most agile player, but Mili is still going strong, plays the ball. Now get into position, lads, get into position, good one, Milivojevic on the ball right around the penalty area can he do something with it of course he can't of course he can't over to nandez i see mili right there go on then yes let's go let's go mili Voivi scores the worst player in the team actually finishes it yes that's gonna be five out of ten at least a glimmer of hope with Milivojevic, boys. We still have to get five more goal contributions with him. That is a great finish. Good turn. Good finish. Milivojevic now with his goal in the FA Cup. Yes, boys. Come on. Making even the worst players on the pitch score. It's a lot of hard work, but it's it's working. Yes, boys. 2-0 victory against Watford. And, of course, the most important thing out of this game is the fact that that we have contributed to the Melee Mayhem objective. I will take that. That is very nice to see. Very happy with that result. And also Moise Keane has scored a goal. The guy seems like a great player. Good signing so far. Two goals for us after he has signed in this transfer window. Very nice to see these two performing to a top level. With that being said though, I gotta admit the first match that we played obviously wasn't really um, a big challenge. We did well against Swansea. I'm very happy about that one. But I have to perform better. I feel like I am lacking in certain positions in terms of what I can achieve with them. I have been uh, failing a lot with the wingers. With Nakajima and Tigankov, I feel like I need to be more effective with them. Maybe I need to tell them to stay forward. I'm not 100% sure uh, because they do help a lot in terms of defense. Nakajima does help quite a lot. And if I tell Tigankov and Nakajima to stay forward, Sander Berge is going to get ruined at the back. He can't just defend against 10 people himself. It's not going to work out. So I got to try and find out ways of implementing Nakajima and Tigankov a little bit more into our gameplay. But other than that, man, I'm very happy. And also, you have to help me, man. I don't know... What are we doing with Connor Morgan? He is about, to, he is so close to being higher rated than Strakosha. Do we pop the youth academy player into the starting lineup or has Strakosha earned his place? You guys know how incredible Strakosha has been in many, many, many games. And uh, we got to decide, man. Let's take a look at their um, stats together. Where is Connor Morgan? Where is he? Am I blind? There he is. Okay. So we go down here. So, diving, Conor Morgan is much better. Handling, um, it is Strakosha who is better. Kicking, it is actually Conor Morgan with 90. Um, goalkeeper positioning, it is also Conor Morgan who gets the better of him. And the reflexes are better as well. But, here's the big, big difference. Strakosha is 6 foot 4. Conor Morgan is 6 foot 2. The fact that Strakosha is so tall makes him a lot harder to get past. So you gotta keep that in mind. Let me know in the comments down below. Does Conor Morgan deserve to play in the starting lineup already? That would be the first Youth Academy player that makes it into the starting lineup of our team. You will have to decide in the comments down below. Let's take a look into the league table in the Premier League because we have just played a bunch of cup games. And of course, we have played against Swansea as well. Let's go into the Premier League right now. Is Chelsea closer? No, they are not. If they win, they will be on 51 points, which means the gap has actually gotten bigger, which I am very happy about. Chelsea 
is struggling and the next match is Crystal Palace against Fulham and then after that it's Chelsea so I'm looking forward to that that's gonna be great I can't wait for that match to come up but also we gotta focus on the Champions League lots of trophies to go for this month it is gonna be the Carabao title that we hope to get Joao Felix has become the player of the month we got an objective done Moise Keane has come in and has done well on his debut games very nice to see and Milivojevic has scored as well what more do you want I'm gonna give the player of the episode to Moise Keane because I really like him. He seems like a good, good player and he has scored in simulation and also in the game that we played. So I'm gonna give it to him as a welcome present. Have a good one, boys. Take care, peace.